It may have been Hilton Magic, but Des Moines Register columnist Randy Peterson only felt pain. I was not trampled. I was on. I I was knocked to the ground. I knew the students were coming. I was trying to beat it, and it just it just didn't work. Students we spoke to were divided on the issue. Well, I mean, I feel like it was kind of a spur, spur of the moment thing. Like they didn't really plan it or anything, and like. You know, I guess when you have that many people, it's going to be kind of hard to stop them anyway. I don't think that we should allow court storming because those people are going to get hurt like that. Head coach Steve Prone told reporters his thoughts during a post-game press conference. And the guy's been camping out here for three days. There's only like probably 10 schools that do that in the country. So give them their 15, 20 minutes to do that. Ames police officials say ISU usually hires five officers to work basketball games. Two deal with traffic, two provide referee security, which leaves only one officer for end of game crowd management. The great thing about Hilton Coliseum is just the experience that people have at, at an event like that. And so to be able to come up with some type of solution, it's probably going to affect their um, ability to get up close and personal at those games. As for Peterson, he says he's okay with court storming with some changes. I get it, and I'm not against it. I'm okay with it. Let, let the people who need to get off the floor first yeah. get off the floor. Yeah. Um, you know, and the students can celebrate all they want.